coding made easy. So what's up everybody and welcome to your next Java made easy tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to be learning a little bit more about arrays and the range based for loop. Um, so uh, one thing that I, I forgot to teach you is let's let's put our um, let's call this GPA and we'll say new float um, or whatever or let's just say we didn't even want to do that if you wanted to on initialization we could specify different values um, for float so if we didn't want to specify size we could say like 10 15 16 whatever 19 and what this will do on initialization it will give us one two three four five six seven it will give us seven elements in our GPA array and so um, and yeah one thing another thing about arrays is that once you set a size for them they cannot they they're not resizable and we'll be looking at more flexible type of containers but arrays will suit us for now but uh, the for loop uh, is cool and it's fine but there's a there's a range based for loop that is made especially for containers and it works like this so let's just say we have a float we have an identifier now we, we put an identifier like X and we'll put a colon and then we'll put the container that we want to loop through and that's that. So um, like in regular for loops what, what we would do to loop through this we would have a, like a we just have a for loop and we have a counter and maybe I'll just set this to I just because that's in regular convention but we'd have a, a something called I we loop through the length of it and we increment it by one. What this range based for loop does is that it does that for us. So it sets it to the beginning, to the starting point of our our array, and then it will, in, uh, will automatically increment itself until it reaches the last one, and then it will end the for loop for us. So it's a specialized loop for uh, uh, for containers such as arrays. So what we can do is we can just um, I guess we we'll use system dot out dot print line and we'll just put I. Now what the I represents, the I represents each element in the array. That's why I set it to float. So I is gonna substitute and it's gonna become 10, then it's gonna become 15, 16, 20, 19, 49, and 20. And GPA just lets us know which array we're looping through. So if you don't believe me, I'll run this. And if you can, if you guys look at this, it says the numbers in order: 10, 15, 16, 20, 19, 49, and 20. So I just um, it becomes the index in your array when it's looping through it. So it's just a specialized for loop meant for containers that I thought you guys might find interesting and very useful in the future. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and bye for now.